All right, so don't get fooled by the hype. There are some pros and some cons to, you know, getting a Shark Tank deal and getting funded by one of the Shark Tank, uh, you know, hosts or whatever you want to call them. Okay, so we're going to check out the cons, okay? There are some pros, sort of like exposure and everything, but then here are some cons. Negotiation is edited for TV, so they end up making you look like a loser on there make you look like you have no say so in your own business, make it look like you have no power while they look like kings. But also, uh, other than that, not a true representation of funding, often do horrible deals for the entrepreneur, okay? So they say stuff like, it's gonna be a sharky deal, and why else would you come on Shark Tank and not expect this? And you say, you know what, I did come on here, so let me give up half of my company for $15,000, like I seen them, okay? You don't wanna do that, okay? So the first pin comments in this video or the description of this video will take you here, it's going to have ads on here, you just X out the ads. If you're a startup, then you wanna click this one, if you're an existing, just fill out all of them because it'll give you the best chances of getting funded. And the best part about it is you do not have to give up any equity in your company or have any collateral for any of those. Okay. So you, you know, if you go on Shark Tank or if your dreams to go on Shark Tank, it sucks. It's just a TV show, guys. Like I'm not saying anybody, nobody's been, but um, you want to have majority of your, and you worked hard for your dreams and your goals and your ideas, not to just have somebody with a couple bucks come and take it all. Okay. You can rustle that up. I could teach you marketing. I could teach you how to build up your own funds before you give up. So just want to let you know, go to the first pin comments, apply in the comments or in the description. It will take you here.